So why did this box go from tall to short? Well, that's because it had a red strawberry in it when we started this tutorial. And by giving it a position of absolute, that subtracted it from the flow of the document, from where it is positioned in the HTML, and allowed us to give it an absolute position. So since it was sub subtracted from this div, which has a box, the div now thinks it's only as tall as the text. Now let's get to work on box two. So our goal here is to move this strawberry on top of that one. Relative positioning is very similar to absolute positioning. Um, again, I'll have to specify the top and left or bottom or right coordinates, but it doesn't pull the element out of the document flow. It just moves it relative to where it currently is inside the document flow. Let's take a look at the HTML first. And here it is. That's the one we're working on. And it's got an ID of relative pause. So I'll copy that and come over to the CSS. And that's what I'll use. That's the ID. So I start with a hashtag, paste that, skip a space and say image, position, relative. I-O-N. I like the little, I'm questioning you, light bulb. <laughs> and now I'm going to need to look at the coordinates that were given up here for the relative pause. And it says 235 from the left and 10 down from the top. It will always go left, top, bottom, right in the uh, order of coordinates for absolute and relative positioning. So left 235px and top 10px. Let's see what that looks like. Refresh. Very good. All right, this bottom one is going to be a little trickier um, because it requires that we combine relative and absolute positioning in two different elements. Let's begin like we did with the last strawberry. I'll look at the HTML and figure out the div tag, and here it is. It's relative pause container. Copy that, go over to my CSS, and create this. Now let's look to see what the positioning is up above relative pause container. It is different this time. It's right and bottom. So we're going to, well, first we're going to have to say position absolute. And then we want it to be way over on the right, so zero pixels from the right, and way over at the bottom, so zero pixels from the bottom. Save and refresh. Hmm. All right, so what you can see is that my last strategy did not work. It's not happening, and look what happens here. Oops. Look at it coming way up with me. So something's not right. I chose the words right and bottom here because those are the same words that were used up here, right and bottom. And it's important that they be able to map to one another. But the moment that I set absolute positioning on this red berry, the browser thinks to itself, I mean, if the browser could think, it would think, self, this berry's coordinates of right and bottom 
Are they referring to the right and bottom of some container or some parent container of the berry? Or is it relative to the body? Let's take a look in the inspector. Oh, look, the minute I opened the inspector, it pushed that berry up here. But let's take a look at it. Its first parent is this, div id equals relative pause container. Does that have any coordinates on it? No, it doesn't. Does, what's the parent of that? Um, not that, not that, not that, not that. There it is, the body. Okay. If it reaches the body, the browser then just assumes that you're talking about the right bottom of the body. But of course we aren't. We're talking about the right bottom of the container. So what we need to do is make sure that this relative pause container, div, has a position attribute. The easy answer is position relative. Because if you set position relative on something without giving coordinates, it stays the same. So let's try that. I'm going to copy this and create a new rule that says, oops, wrong side, that says position relative. Save and let me close this. Refresh and there it is. So uh, it might not be likely that you will run into clients who need something positioned, let alone uh, both relative and absolute. But here is, you now know the way to do absolute positioning and you know the way to do relative positioning. And if you run into some problems, think about um, the containers, the images parentage. That's enough for absolute positioning. Let's take a peek at some other stuff.